wondering, do I have any packages here? That's the last thing. It's Vernon, V-E-R-N-O-N. All right, look at that, I'm back home. Um, I'm back in the office. I'm just putting together all the video pieces and here it is, the Mavic Mini. So obviously there's been a ton of videos about, you know, the 249 grams, why that's important in the United States and in Canada. True, three axis gimbal, fantastic. 2.7K camera versus 4K camera, whatever. You've seen all the videos, you've seen all the, the things that people want to see with the, the videos and you know some people got this early I didn't but it arrived at the hotel on the day it was supposed to arrive it was fantastic I don't even know how they managed to do that on Veterans Day but it was it was a cool treat I was happy but here's something I haven't seen anyone else talk about when you get the fly more pack it comes with four batteries wait hold on three batteries for the drone and one that's built into the remote Say, you thought I had you there for a minute, or you thought you had me, or... But I took a video of the charging process, and I can tell you, spoiler alert, five hours. You're going to need five hours to charge up all the batteries. The drone batteries take about an hour and 15 minutes, and a little bit less than that for the remote battery. So take the next minute of your life and watch this. So obviously, you know, this is a much smaller drone. Here it is side by side with the Mavic 2 Pro. Obviously also in the box, there's a list of instructions and various other things that come with it, including this card for help. I think it's interesting. It has the driving as complex, flying as easy. But those those people there, they, they whoever drew that, um, it was interesting. By the way, I scanned that QR code and it doesn't seem to go anywhere for me. Does it go anywhere for you guys? It just goes to a blank page. But that, that's what came in the box. I mean, let, let me know if you if you have anything that shows up when you scan the QR code. Scan it. Scan it right now. Scan it right now. So let's get into this. I started flying this thing in downtown Minneapolis. And I gotta tell you, it was freezing cold. This right here was my first little flight. Um, by the way, that little road in front of us is a private city road. It's not for public and there's only buses or emergency vehicles that travel. So no one was driving on that road. I can easily cross the road with the drone. I am part 107 certified. So I kind of know what I'm doing. Now, it, for one thing, I'm a Mississippi guy and it was absolutely freezing outside temperature was in the single digits so being that you can't fine-tune the sticks at least not that I could find in the app you know I was I'm having some practice time it's gonna be a little jerky jumping here and there and everywhere for the video now I found this guy out there who was also at the conference with me oh I didn't mention that I was at the Jamf Nation user conference all week and that's why I was in Minneapolis but he's also part 107 certified. He was excited to see a Mavic Mini for the first time, and he got some pictures. 
He's a really nice guy. He chatted with me for about 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I forgot his name, but he did give me permission to, to film him. So we're good. So here's just uh, a few shots. A lot of people wondering, is this Joan going to be any good? Yeah, I'm, lo I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the footage behind me as I'm scrubbing back to make sure I know where to insert this footage. If you're curious, just take a look at, after I kind of got used to it, at what I got from the Mavic Mini.
since I was in Minneapolis for the first time, and maybe even my only time, I don't know, I wanted to get some cool footage of the stadium where the Vikings play, which I think is called the U.S. Bank Stadium. Yeah, U.S. Bank Stadium. Obviously, before flying there, you know, I checked, and there are no flight restrictions in the area. There were no games going on. Uh, this was my last day in Minneapolis, and there were no football games going on at the stadium, and there were no flight restrictions. I drive there, and then boom, there was a flight restriction. Turns out there is a state-level high school football championship thing going on at the stadium that day, and I guess it was enough for them to trigger the, the no-fly because lots and lots of people were going to the stadium for the state high school event. This is as close as I could get, right here. But I did find a really cool bell tower. One of my colleagues was there with me on the trip. He was joining me that day. He was my visual spotter to make sure that I was not going over any roads with people or with moving traffic. So we stayed legit the whole time. It was just to make sure everyone understands that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. But we found a little frozen pond. I'm not used to frozen ponds again. Southern Mississippi. So I took advantage of it. And there you go, some Mavic Mini footage in Minneapolis, some Mavic 2 Pro footage. But before I go, I wanted to show you this one picture I took of that church that was at the very beginning of the footage. I took a still using that 12 megapixel... Megapixel? Wow. What the heck's a megapixel? The 12 megapixel camera that's built into the Mavic Mini. And here it is. I thought it was great. I mean... It's a 12 megapixel image. I'm also making this video since 
the Mavic Mini is only 2.7K. I'm making a 2. Point, you know, a 2560 by 1440 resolution video. There's no use to make it 4K and then have it look super pixelated when scaled down. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing. Turn up the bacon and I'll see you next time.